Welcome to the Encourage Podcast. We are all different ages and different life stages, and we come from different cultures and churches, but our common thread is the hope of Jesus. Here's some of that hope to get you through today. Today's devotion is titled, When You Think God is Being Silent, and is written by Simi John. I don't hear well, so you are going to have to shout, he said as he slowly followed behind me, pushing his walker. I turned around with a smile to respond, I have two kids. I am used to yelling. We walked into the examination room and he sat down in the chair with his torso bent forward and his head hanging down. His wife sat next to me and shared about his most recent symptoms that brought him to my physical therapy clinic. I put my laptop on the desk and scooted my stool close to him. Can you kick your right leg out? He didn't even look up, so I repeated myself louder as I tapped on his right thigh gently. He looked up. What do you want me to do? I repeated my instruction as I kicked my leg out to show him exactly what I wanted. He watched me and then shook his head. I can't understand. I'm sorry. His wife, who was sitting on the other side of the room, said, "Hun, she wants you to kick that right leg out. And he immediately did it. The rest of the examination went the same way. What was interesting is that she never leaned in or raised her voice, yet he heard her clearly. I was inches away from him, shouting, but he couldn't hear me. They had been married for over 50 years. He knew her voice. Even when old age deafened him to all the noise of the world, it couldn't silence the voice of his lover. He had heard her voice in all tones and at all volumes over all the years. It was as familiar to him as his own voice, so she didn't need to yell. Her whisper was sufficient. I have been a believer for over 25 years, and I have learned, for the most part, to discern the voice of Jesus. But last year was perhaps one of the most challenging seasons of my life, and I felt as if God was silent. I could feel him with me, using me to minister to strangers at conferences as I would speak, and even heal my own body miraculously as I prayed. But what was strange to me is that in the one area I was desperate to hear his direction and waited for his provision, he seemed so silent. Now, as I stand in a new year and look back, I see that I was only aware of God in the obvious and big moments and miracles. But He was training me to hear His whispers. He was teaching me like He taught the prophet Elijah. Sometimes God shows up in the mighty winds, earthquakes, and fires, but He can also show up in the gentle whispers too. 1 Kings 19, 11-13 Perhaps this was the moment that Elijah felt the lowest and God came in the quietest, as an intimate friend with a whisper. God showed Elijah that he is powerful, but he is also personal. I have learned that often what we perceive as the silence of God is actually his still small voice, an intimate whisper. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John 10, 27 ESV. There is a level of intimacy you reach in some relationships where a whisper or wink is enough. You are connected so deeply that your communication style changes. You don't have to be physically close in proximity to sense the other person's emotions. You know them as much as you know yourself. Jesus invites us to this kind of intimate relationship where we know his heart and he knows ours. He knows our sighs and frustrations. He knows the fear and anxiety that is plaguing us. He knows our dreams and our plans for our children. He knows our doubts and desire to believe. Friend, if you are in a season where you think God is silent, I want to encourage you with this thought. God may not be yelling. He could be whispering. Don't let the struggles of this life steal the voice of love. You haven't lost your ability to hear Him well. You may have just entered a new level of intimacy with God. God is inviting you to know Him, not simply in the big moments, but in the seasons of quiet when life is hard. He wants you to know that He is powerful and He is personal. 
Listen for his sweet, intimate whispers today. To read more from our writers, visit encourage.me. Subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss a single episode and find us everywhere on social at Encourage. This Easter, prepare your heart and home with Simply Jesus Easter, a new keepsake magazine from Dayspring. Simply Jesus contains scripture, devotions, and articles, all to help you prepare for Easter. Pick up a copy today on dayspring.com or wherever you buy magazines. The Encourage podcast is brought to you by Dayspring. For over 50 years, Dayspring has created quality cards, books, and gifts that help you live your faith. Find out more at dayspring.com.